Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So for this week's scraps video, I'm going to make five fun fold cards, really quick and easy ones. And I'm using the scraps from this folder here. These are basically, they're all from those 12 by 12 pads, the three and the like two pound ones that I get from like the works and the range that you see me share. I thought I've got quite a few in here. So I'm going to work my way through that um, and make some really fun cards. So let's get started. So for the first card blank, you're going to want a piece of nine by seven and along the nine inch side, you're going to score at two and a half, three and a half, five and a half and six and a half. OK, now I have made, I think nearly all the folds that I'm showing you today, I have made on my channel, but the sizing might be slightly different or I might have made it in a five by seven and, and today I'm showing it in a six by six, for example. So you might see some of them similar, but if you're new to my channel, then they may all be new to you. And then you want to fold the two inner score lines. So they're mountain folds. And then the outer ones will become valley. So you'll get that shape. Let me just hold that up so you can see it a bit clearer. Okay, so you've got a valley, a mountain, mountain and valley. So when that folds behind, it will be a five by seven size. Okay, so that's the fold we're going to have. Then these are the papers that I've cut. So I've got these two pieces here, which are going to go either side. And those measure, these are two and a quarter by six and three quarters. So they're going to go either side. Then I've got this piece. So this is so this is one and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then these are three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters. And they're going to go in here. And then for my sentiment, I've just got a simple one here, which says, always thinking of you. I'm going to pop a little bow on there. These are cut from my punches. So this is a two and a half punch. This is a two inch punch. I'm going to stick those on top. And then that one just fits in the middle there. And I'm going to pop them up on some foam. I'm just going to pop that on the top with a little bow. So we get all that stuck down. So I've popped a little bow there. I've just used some Baker's twine. And I think that finishes it off perfectly. Always thinking of you. So when it folds down, that's a five by seven size, so it'll fit in an envelope. If you want to make any envelopes, then I have the DIY envelope tutorial, and I'll pop that up here. But you can buy five by seven as well. And you've got space there to write on the back. So that's card number one. So card number two, I thought we would make a never ending card. Now I have two of these already on the channel, but I made them quite a few years ago now. I'll link them up here. But this is a perfect one for using your paper scraps. So you'll want to cut yourself four pieces of six by three. And on all of them, you're going to score along the six inch side, you're going to score at one and a half and four and a half. So I've already got my four pieces there. OK, next you're going to pop two of them so they are horizontal. And then we're going to stick these two on top so they are vertical. And you'll see this is going to be a six by six size card. So these pieces here are one and a half inch these kind of like side pieces that you've got on each one so on these two that we've got in the vertical orientation you just want to mark with a pencil one and a half down this is just so you know where you're putting your glue so just one and a half just in the middle we just mark the middle of that piece so that would be again like i said one and a half and then just mark the middle again so one and a half on this piece and also on this piece here and you can put a line along there if you want. Do it in pencil because you can rub out any bits you might see. If you want to make it much straighter and neater than mine, you can. But it's just literally a guide of where you're going to add your glue. So now on the top one, you're going to add your glue in the top left and right kind of squares now that you'll have. And on the bottom one, you're going to add your glue there so it's just literally just to make it a bit easier for you to add your glue so i'm going to grab my cosmic shimmer quick grab and i'll start we'll do these first now if you want you can fold and burnish first or after it doesn't really matter pop some glue there there i'm just going to do all four but maybe if you've not made one of these before you might want to do one at a time like so these two now remember you want to stick so they are vertical these ones are horizontal these are vertical and you're just going to line them up to the corner and then the bottom and you just want to make sure you've got that perfect six by six size with that one and then again this one here you can just butt that right up to this piece and 
maybe it'd be that way actually make sure you've got the two pieces together there we go if you've got anything overhanging you can always trim it away make sure that's completely dry once it's dry you'll be able to fold those back i've got a bit of glue there but we're going to cover all that and just burnish like so and then you're going to fold that one again make sure that glue's dry i've got a little bit of pencil there that i can see so i can rub that out in a moment and then you're going to go back and then you're back at the beginning again to remind yourself where the beginning is if you just put um i don't know one and two and then you've got three four five six and then seven and eight so i would have my message maybe on this number seven some pattern paper there and then you're back to the beginning again so rub out all your pencil but now you want to cut your mats and layers so for these square pieces you're going to want to cut yourself two and three quarter by two and three quarter pieces so i would do two four six and then eight and then for these rectangle pieces you'll want to cut yourself these will be one and a quarter by two and three quarters so you're going to want four don't need those ones So you'll want eight and then the squares which are these pieces here these will be one and a quarter squares so you'll want four and i think it's going to be four there so that's eight and that's it and eight pieces of those i will do a blog post for this scraps video because obviously the sizings and stuff and they're more like the fun folds because i don't tend to do blog posts for the scrap videos but i'm going to get all those pieces cut now obviously think about you know your sentiment for the front and then your message on the back but i'm going to get it all stuck down and then i'll show you what finished so that's all of the pattern paper stuck down. So you'll see when you turn each one, they all match. If you've got a directional paper, make sure it's obviously all the right way up. But these ones stand up as well. Now I'm not going to decorate this with sentiments because I think I'm going to actually pop photos on this and use it in one of my journals. So if you want to see a decorated one with sentiments and all that kind of stuff, check out the playlist. Like I said, I've got two on there, I think, which are completed cards. But I'm going to just leave this one for now because, yeah, I think I want to put some some photos in here and um, and might even pop it on a scrapbook layout in a pocket or something. I don't know. I just I really love these papers and I think I want to keep this one for myself. But you can see how much fun this is and why it gets its name, the never ending or endless card. And um great for children you can uh, decorate it like a rubik's cube as well which looks really good but then yeah back to the beginning and uh fits in your six by six envelope so that's card number two so card number three we're going to make a z fold card so this is a piece of 10 by seven along that 10 inch side you're going to score at two and a half and five if you've got a pre-made five by seven card blank which will look like that just open it up and you'll just need to score at two and a half as long as that is definitely five inches because sometimes the pre-made cards may vary so you'll have a mountain fold on that five inch score line and then this one needs to be a valley at two and a half you'll see you get your z fold okay that's probably one of the most basic i would say beginner folds this and an easel card or easel fold if you're wanting to venture in that world of uh, fun folds and uh, you know more technical style cards this is a great way to start i've then cut these three pieces of two and a quarter by two and a quarter if you've made my triple diamond point card or the one that I made with my Nan, which was a pull-out pointy card or something like that. Again, I'll link these up there. This is kind of similar. So I'm going to have these three stuck, just one half on this piece. I'm going to have two that are point to point with the top and the bottom. And then this one's going to be raised up. So if you've made the one that i done with my Nan, the front of this looks the same. But we haven't got this extra piece underneath. So before I stick them down, I want to pop these pieces here. So I've cut this piece, which is two and a quarter by six and three quarters. And that one's going to go there. And then this is another piece from that scrap. I, th I think I must have had a couple from a project um, and I had quite a lot of this one left. So this is four and three quarters by, by six and three quarters. That one's going to stick inside here. So I'm going to get those stuck down first. Okay, then with these two, I'm going to stick my pattern paper on. So this is two by two. 
get them on first. The middle one I'm going to have plain and I'm going to stamp my, my sentiment on that one. So I'm just going to place that one in the middle just so you get a nice white border. You could do mats and layers so if you want to do like a mirrored mat and then, you know, pattern paper. And you can just drop the size down by a quarter of an inch on each side each time. So these ones I'm just going to stick directly and then that one I'm going to pop up on some foam. I think I'm going to have the yellow flower on that side there and then the yellow flower on the left there. So flip it over and just on this side here, I'm just going to pop some glue. And again, just focus on the point there and then the point here lining up with the fold. Like so. And then again, flip it over. And just line up those points like so and then with this one here i think i'm going to use this is the new creative sentiments i'll link everything that i can in the description box below but i thought the get well soon would go nice in the center there so i've just lined up my stamp i'm going to use the fuchsia quick dryer so ink that one up just do that a couple times and then we're going to pop that one in the middle there. So I'm going to use some foam. I'm just going to use some of the waste that I've got here. So I'm just going to cut that and I want to pop it on this side here. You don't have to pop it up on foam, but I just think it looks quite nice and then just try and line up the points again here with the top and the bottom and you want to make sure it's in the middle here so you want these kind of you'll get two triangles here try and get them the same like so and then whilst i've got my bows out here i think a little bow would look nice on here so let's see what kind of pinky ones i've got i think we we'll use the polka dot one there i think that goes quite nice I used my hot glue, but I haven't got it plugged in. So I'm going to use this. It will dry eventually. It just take a little bit longer. But I'm just going to sit that one just at the top there. You could put some sequins on here, glossy accents. But I think that's a really sweet card. Very pretty. So that's card number three. So for card number four, I've got a five by seven card blank. So this is a piece of ten by seven. Um, if you're making it yourself and along the 10 inch side you want to score at five inches and then along one of the sides you want to score at two and five but just down to that middle score line so two and five and now you want to cut away the sides so we're just keeping that center panel again i've got these on the channel i think they were called center center maybe easel something like that i've made a a few kind of styles so i will um again link as much as i remember but just check out the playlists if i don't link anything you'll find it all there now when you remove this remove all of the score lines so i've removed the score line there and all the way down there and again i'm now cutting to the left hand side And then to the right hand side of that score line and just open it up and just make sure again you've got no score line visible i think i can take a little bit away from the top of this one okay so now you'll have something like this so there's your top fold five by seven like center panel so then i've got this piece of pattern paper which again all from that folder this is a piece of four and three quarter by six and three quarter so i'm going to pop that inside here and then to go on the front, I've got this here, which is the reverse of that. So it all matches. And this is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And that one's going to go like so. And then I just fussy cut some flowers from another piece. And I'm going to just arrange these. And then I have this little tray. And I think I might pop birthday wishes um or i've got on your birthday be one of these anyway i've got quite a few in here happy birthday yeah i'm going to pop one of those on and i'll put all of this on foam again just so you've got a bit of dimension and there's the finished card again very quick and easy to do what i would do is cut a piece that's the same size as this pattern piece and pop it under here 
and that's where you'd write your message and then it's hidden so when they take it out of the envelope they don't see the message straight away and then they lift that up instead you can see it stands really nicely and have the you know bits hang overhanging slightly so again just adds a little bit more interest i think that looks really pretty so that's card number four and then for card number five i've got this six by six card blank so this is a piece of 12 by six along the 12 inch side you want to score it six inches if you've not brought a shop brought one and what we're going to do here is we're going to trim away so open it up and you want to line up the score line with the one and a half marker so and slice that away so you've got this piece here we then want to take one and a half away from the other end and keep this but you're keeping all the pieces so this one here is going to go back along the bottom but this one we're going to trim slightly is going to go through the middle here so this one i'm going to take down to five and a half i'm just going to bring that one down and then you can just get rid of that piece and that's going to stick across there but before we stick this piece down we need to decorate all of these pieces so you're going to want to cut two pieces of one and a quarter by five and three quarters they're going to cover this thin strip here and then the top so i'm going to stick those down first and i actually think with this one i'm going to stick this panel behind whereas i think i done a five by seven version on the channel again i'll link that now and i stuck that piece on the front so it and it gives you a different look but i've just placed that one underneath and i actually like that you get a square in the middle so that's a little bit different so again just stick this one over here like so now with this one it's going to be behind these two here so what i would suggest is you don't need to add a lot of glue just add a little bit of glue about half an inch covering at each end there pop it inside so you've got about the same from the top and the bottom but you do want to make sure it's right in the middle so what are we looking at here one and a half yeah one and a half you want gap on each side and then i'm just going to stick that one down and then stick that one over the top like so so now we've got this three by three is it i think it is yeah three by three square in the middle so i've cut this piece of two and three quarters by two and three quarters and that's going to fit perfectly in the middle there if you've got it lifting slightly which mine is because obviously i didn't go right up to the edge with the glue i'm just going to just add a little bit more glue in there and you can do the same for the bottom if you feel yeah if i just bend that up there like so So you can see now you've got this effect now you could have that it's actually a, another letter h as well you could personalize it or you could have that as the the start of the happy birthday i think that's quite cool but it's going to be that way okay so i'm going to do the same as what i did on the first card i like that kind of topper so i just punched the same again and with that piece there so i'm going to lift those up with some foam in the middle and this one says may all your wishes come true so I'm going to pop that in the middle and finish it with a bow. And then I think rather than have it against the white, I've got this again. It's just got that pattern on the back. But this softer pink actually works quite nicely. But it just helps lift that. If I had the dark pink, which I do have in brand new, you know, A4, but I'm not cutting into that. You know, it's about using your scrap pieces. So I'm going to cut this to five and three quarters by five and three quarters and stick that inside. And then again, I'm going to finish it off with some of this baker's twine. So I'm just going to thread, thread that through. These are all these kind of toppers. They're all from just different kits and things that I've picked up in charity shops. Sometimes when I see things like the hunky dory and stuff, although that's not what I use, my mum actually has a lot of that. But the sentiments and stuff are perfect for quick cards and it's just handy to have them there. So... I'm just going to, and actually a lot of these came from a recent, we purchased this big like box for £6 and it was just full of 
just scrap pieces of card. It had, you know, topper sheets in there. We just kind of went through it all and she had some and I had some. So that's the finished card. Again, I think that looks really pretty. Add some sequins around here, like I said before, or some Nouveau drops. But I really like that it um, can be that way as well. Got me thinking now of another kind of card style. So that's my five fun folds. So we'll just go back through them again. So you've got this kind of tri-fold or centre panel card. Really nice. And that folds into a five by seven size. Then we've got the never ending one. Very fun. Great for the kids. But I think, again, for any age, I always like these cards. And that one does stand up as well. Then we've got this one here. So again, it's like a triple point. And that's a Z fold. And then we've got this one here, which is that centre easel or just centre top fold tent card, I guess. And then the one that I've just showed you there. So they're kind of like a matching set, I guess, because they're kind of using the same papers, even though they're all mixed in that folder. They kind of look like they were all, you know, all from the same paper pad, I guess, because that's different. That's different. They're kind of the same, but that's from a different sheet as well. So just play around, see what you've got. And um, you might be able to make some matching ones as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this week's scraps video using them on a fun fold style rather than just a, a standard open and close card. This is going to be the last of the scraps kind of series because as of tomorrow, I start my Christmas series. So on a Sunday, I'm going to try and do Christmas related tips quick tips or maybe some scraps of videos using my christmas scraps once i've got them because i don't really have any christmas scraps at the moment so you'll probably see some more scraps videos maybe in december but um yeah if you've liked what i've shared today you want to see more scraps videos check out the playlist i have quite a lot on there now and if you're new and you've again enjoyed today subscribe because you'll start to see my christmas series like i said that starts tomorrow as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye